What's going on guys? We are back once again and we are going to be talking about something that I wasn't sure if I was going to discuss this or not, but I figure I'd go ahead and discuss this because with the cancellation of Kung Fu, I was kind of surprised yet not surprised. Now, I'm going to go into the reasons why, what my thoughts are about this. And again, there's a lot of shows that's going to be canceled and it has been canceled. Um, some that we have talked about on the channel and I'm going to talk about it. I could just do one whole video, but I decided to kind of break it up on my thoughts about each show. Now, for Kung Fu, you can still watch this on CW or HBO Max. Um, you can even watch it on Amazon Prime if you so choose. But the way this ended kind of left it not really open, but kind of closed a lot of not really say unanswered questions, but they had everyone kind of do their own thing. They had, and I'm assuming anybody that has watched Kung Fu, you, you know how the last season ended, where Nikki kind of left the country, went on her own, I would say, journey to help people and become more of a independent freedom fighter, I guess you would say. And of course, Henry doing his own thing with the, uh, the ones that he was involved with that his father was involved with for that organization and then of course Althea joining the CIA being part of the CIA her husband you know doing whatever he was doing and then of course uh their dad being mayor and then mom opening up a uh you know food truck with uh Ryan's boyfriend and it just there was a lot of different <clears throat> things going on in the show that kind of wrapped it up very nicely you know put it in a big you know tied it in a nice bow i guess so to speak and i think that the way it ended was not a bad thing and honestly i'm kind of wondering if they are gonna choose to bring it back which i'm not sure if they will or they're gonna put on another network if it's gonna be worth it because i feel like that they did tie up a lot of things especially with shao and you know Nick, nikki shufu and then losing her cousin and you know being at the monastery nikki going through this journey of you know vengeance and all this other kind of stuff and again i enjoyed the show i know a lot of people have mixed feelings about it i think they did very well even though it was on a cw show um i enjoyed the characters i enjoyed the story i enjoyed the martial arts i enjoyed uh the action scenes i enjoyed the culture aspect behind it and they didn't really push a lot of you know i would say identity politics or woke nonsense in this show and i really did enjoy that um i really didn't see any of that stuff in this show and that's the reason why i have really uh gone away from live action shows but overall i think that the show was very well done and again this is going to be the end of kung fu then you know i'm happy with the three seasons we actually received so i don't know what do you guys think about this? What do you guys think about Kung Fu ending? Do you think it's a good thing? Do you think it should go on for one more season? Do you think it needs to be picked up for another season? What is your overall thoughts about it? Let me know what you guys think about it down in the comments. And just wanted to kind of give my overview about this. But it wasn't going to be a long video. I am going to be talking about some other uh, shows. I'm going to be talking about Bit Sky getting canceled. I'm going to talk about Walker Independence being canceled. And of course the Winchester's being canceled. So let me know what you guys think about this down in the comments. Once again, I'll see you as always on the next one.